The forest builds its power slowly, but steadily. Even 60 years is a period too short to appreciate this art of nature. It has to be admitted that the value of forests is difficult to realize unless they are examined and measured. And when they have been fully measured and described, their value turns out to be immense. Forests cover almost one-third of the area of Poland. Forestry resources amount to almost two and a half billion cubic meters. The average timber reserve, or the number of cubic meters per one hectare of forest in Poland, is 269 cubic meters, which significantly exceeds the European average. This is the effect of work carried out by many generations of foresters and forest planners. The first attempts to value and appraise forests emerged in Europe in the 16th century. In Poland, King Sigmund Augustus established a series of rules concerning forest utilization. At the end of the 18th century, management instructions were created for the Kosciuszko primal forest, revealing the art of planning of those times. The idea underlying modern management consists in the so-called normal forest model, if we divide a forest into 100 equal parts, with the age of trees differing in subsequent parts by one year, then by cutting a 100th part of this forest once a year and restocking it at the same time, we have a guarantee that such a system will ensure both forest stability and a continuous timber supply. This model has become the basis for modern management, the principles of which have been applied until today. The development of forest management occurred when Poland was absent from the map of Europe. After our country regained its independence, forest management faced a huge challenge to gather and to standardize forest descriptions and maps originating from the former partitions. New studies that emerged were based on the first Polish forest management instructions. World War II destroyed many Polish forests. Stands of trees were significantly thinned out and partially burnt. Most management documents, including maps, were lost or destroyed. When the new borders of the country were determined, surveyors and evaluators set off for working in the field, often only with a blank sheet of paper, to describe forests once again and create new maps. In the history of Polish forestry, this period is referred to as provisional management. Thousands of cartographic materials and valuation descriptions for most forests were created in this way. At that time, every map was prepared manually on drawing tables and required the utmost care by its author. Appreciating the strategic role of forest management for Polish forestry, on the 3rd of September 1956, the Minister of Forestry and Wood Economy established an independent state enterprise entitled the Bureau for Forest Management and Forestry Projects. The Bureau started its work in the next year, with Konrad Wolleinen as its first director. It was also the time that the first post-war forest management instruction was issued. In 1973, the enterprise changed its name to the Bureau for Forest Management and Geodesy, under which it has been operating to date, with the management board located in Sankochin Stari and 12 regional offices. Along with the establishment of the Bureau, the period of final forest management began, during which each fragment of the state forest was described and its boundaries were determined and illustrated on forest maps. Consequently, for the first time in the history of Poland, the amount of forest resources in the state forest was specified and their further development could be planned. 
A particular role in that period was played by surveyors who prepared base maps for all forest divisions. Although measuring tapes, rangefinders, and theodolites are today only found in museums, and modern surveyors have at their disposal surveying equipment of the highest quality, nothing can replace hard, laborious work in the field. The basis for forestry management is valuation, that is, describing the forest by valuators. To perform their work well, they must have enormous forest knowledge although sometimes they still use the tools that were used by their predecessors a hundred years ago, they are also supplied with state-of-the-art equipment. With GPS technology and orthophoto maps, the same work is currently performed faster, more efficiently, and more precisely. The most important deliverables of the Bureau's work are forest management plans. Each of the 430 forest divisions functioning in Poland every 10 years needs such a plan, which precisely specifies the amount of timber that can be harvested during that 10-year period, as well as the method of looking after the forest and restocking it. For such a plan to be created, an evaluator must examine and describe each fragment of the forest such parameters as tree species, age, height, diameter at breast height, quality class, and timber reserve per hectare make up only a small part of the valuation description of the forest. An inseparable part of valuation is the creation of forest subdivision maps. Maps created by management specialists have been illustrating for hundreds of years forest borders, conditions, and parameters. Although the technology of their production has changed through the decades, they still remain one of the most important tools in a forester's work. Upon analyzing the data collected in the field, the so-called year cut, or the volume of harvested timber is established. It is generally lower than the growth of resources in the same period. This guarantees that forest resources are not reduced. Evaluators also prepare a natural protection program which ensures an individual approach to natural resources of the forest division and guarantees protection of its most valuable fragments. forest is not only made up of trees, and to truly understand it, you must bow low and see what plants inhabit its lower layer, the underbrush. You also have to look inside the soil to see how it is formed, of what components, and whether species growing here have appropriate living conditions. Soil habitats and phytosociology works carried out by the Bureau serve this purpose. Valuation of forest habitats, soil digs and pits are performed according to strictly specified procedures. Soil samples collected in the field are examined in the accredited laboratory of the Bureau in Krakow. In this way, soil fertility, humidity and chemical composition can be assessed as well as the condition of forest habitats. Valuators specializing in habitats also perform phytosociological studies, which, based on soil and habitat maps and detailed stocktaking of plants in the field, make it possible to develop maps of plants, as well as current and potential forest communities. Engineering and economic studies, above all those concerning optimization of forest road networks, are also extremely important. 
They helped to plan roads in the forest division, as well as expenditures for their construction and repairs to facilitate the removal of timber from the forest. They also ensure efficient communication in case of fire or other natural disasters. Bureau experts also prepare studies concerning water retention in the forest. The Bureau actively participates in the development of environmental protection programs in Poland. It is here that the protection plans for national parks and nature reserves and plans for conservational tasks concerning the Natura 2000 areas are created and numerous survey and environmental assessment projects are performed. A bird's eye view of the forest clearly reveals the well-planned work carried out by foresters. Polish forests ensure a continuous supply of raw material for the wood industry and at the same time have an overwhelming natural and landscape value. This is the effect of introducing the multifunctional forest model to Polish forestry, in which each tree stand fulfills various environmental, production and social functions. In Poland, slightly less than 20% of forests belong to private owners. For many years, data concerning these areas were very limited, because for a private forest, only the so-called simplified forest management plans are performed. Since such plans are not prepared on a regular basis, they are often out of date. This state of affairs changed with the Large Area Forest Condition Survey, which covered all forms of ownership. A project carried out by the Bureau in cooperation with the Forestry Research Institute, commissioned by the State Forests. This is a survey method, which since 2005 has been based on a network of fixed observation plots, making up part of the All European Forest Monitoring Network, ICP Forest. The application of similar survey principles in multiple countries makes it possible to compare results on a European scale. More than 30,000 such areas are situated in Poland. Every five years, evaluator visits such a point, the only permanent marking of which in the field is a metal tube. In the sample area, the evaluator measures and describes all trees situated within a circle with a dozen meter radius. Additionally, the health condition of trees and damage are determined. The development of the young forest is evaluated, as well as the amount of dead wood. Such a survey helps to determine the wood resources in state-owned, private and municipal forests and national parks. Consequently, we can find out how Polish forests grow and the relationship between harvesting and growth. It also helps us to acquire knowledge about the structure and natural richness of the country and its individual regions. Data collected in this survey provide the input for many state statistics, including the Central Statistical Office. Since Polish forests are a national treasure, Knowledge concerning them should be full and accessible for each citizen. This idea is fulfilled by a project carried out by the Bureau, referred to as the Forest Data Bank. It's a huge database, gathering all available information originating from the work of foresters and valuators. This knowledge has been officially published for the first time on a web portal. Now everybody can check the condition of forests in Poland, in their region, or in the nearest vicinity. The Bureau for Forest Management and Geodesy continues to embrace new technologies. Data collected today in the field are much richer and more precise than several dozen years ago, and their processing and analyses are much faster and more comprehensive. Apart from satellite and airborne images, 
The Bureau makes use of the Laser Multidimensional Space Measurement Method, LIDAR, which will, in the future, permit the precise determination of the timber reserve in a specific tree stand. The Bureau cooperates with forest academic centers all over Poland. Forest management presents the results of their work at multiple conferences and symposia. They also participate in research projects. One of the challenges facing Polish forestry is a program for constructing new timber reserve tables and tree stand development models. Its aim is to replace the old timber reserve tables prepared by Professor Schwapach at the beginning of the 20th century. For 60 years of the Bureau for Forest Management and Geodesy Operation, the forest area in Poland has increased by one-fourth and timber reserves have increased by two and a half times. Although timber harvesting has grown significantly, the timber reserve of an average Polish tree stand has not decreased. To the contrary, it has increased more than twofold. At the same time, more than half of the forest areas managed by the state forests have been recognized as protected, and the forest has become more accessible for people. Polish forest management is highly appreciated in Europe, owing this status first of all to the fact that the majority of forests in Poland are public, and the state forests, national forest holding, and the Bureau for Forest Management and Geodesy are institutions which do not strive in their policy to maximize profits and do not represent the interests of the wood industry. They protect, first of all, the natural wealth of domestic forests. Data originating from valuators' work in the field, collected systematically and continuously for decades, help to better understand the forest and to increasingly better plan its future so that it can continue to serve future generations of Poles. <laughs>